Hello everybody, right so today we're going to be looking at the work of Bruno Del Zoo. Okay, so Bruno Del Zoo is very famous for creating all of these images that are very abstract, very surreal, using boxes, geometric shapes. You can see this one, this is really cool. So obviously a student at another school has tried to do this. So that's what I'm asking you lot to do today. Okay, so first of all, we want to find a celebrity that we can uh, kind of find multiple images of. So I've chosen Robert De Niro. Well, to be fair, I just typed in there, as you can see, goofy celebrities portrait photographs. So I've narrowed it down quite simply. So I've just found three pictures of Robert De Niro. I've then imported the three images into Photoshop. Sorry, I don't know why I had to think about that one so long. Right, so I'm just going to create a new one. So that is going to be my actual finished product, okay? So my finished product, my Bruno Del Zoo. All right, so let's go back to this then. This one here is a little bit lesser quality, so I'm not going to be using this one as much. And also as well, as you can see, it's just slightly a different size. So I'm just making it... Sorry, I'm just going to wait two seconds whilst my Photoshop loads. Okay, so I'm just going to chunk this down just a tiny little bit using the crop tool. And then as you can see, that is kind of... Just enlarge it a little bit. That's going to be the same size as pretty much all of them, all right? So I'm going to grab this, which is the rectangular marquee tool, okay? And then using the ma circular mar oh my life, I can't speak today. Using the rectangular marquee tool, I'm just going to start by just grabbing a part of Robert De Niro's face, like so, holding Control and C, and then holding Control and V, and as you can see, I've just got one of the parts of his face. So now just so that I remember which bit is which, I'm going to grab maybe just part of his collar like this look. Again, Control and C, Control and V, which of course stand for copy and paste. Using the rectangular marquee tool, I'm then just going to grab this eye, I really like this eye because it's quite comical. Copy and paste. I'm just going to grab a bit of this with half of his mouth. And then using this one, I'm just going to grab pretty much a chunk of his mouth like that. Don't worry, obviously, using the style of Bruno Del Zoo. We'll just go back for two seconds. Using the style of Bruno Del Zoo, you can see that a lot of them overlap. So, for instance, this girl here, she's got three eyes. This one here. In fact, I think that's a boy and a girl, and you can see one, two, three, four eyes on that one. This one, one, two, three eyes. So you want to kind of make it very similar in that way. Okay, so going back to this one, I grab a bit of his hair. Because also he's got different hairstyles in these images. Oh, I'm going to not select that one to be fair, because... So now that I've got a few pieces, I'm just going to start moving these around so that I can see how far I am. So I'm here, look, on the move tool, and as I'm moving them, I'm just going to hold Control and T, which is of course transform, and then that way I can see where all of them go. Oh, I've put that one in twice. You're not going to make them all exactly the same shape, you are going to make them different shape. I think I've accidentally done the same one there. Well, and that'll look a bit odd as well because I've picked the same thing there. So 
ですよね。I'm gonna bring that layer on top. Because I definitely want that one on top of there. As well, you see it's starting to come together. So there's Robert De Niro's face. And then let's have a look. What should we do? Should we move that one there? Look. Have a look. Yeah, about there. Got that one, that one. Let's just grab this one. Tell you what, I haven't got. I ain't got the nose, have I? I'm just gonna find a good case of nose from this one again. Don't forget, if you are using the same image, you're grabbing the nose and then you're grabbing the eyes or something like that, just to make it look a little bit more like Bruno Del Zoo's work. You can do. You can just change the size a little bit. Like so, you see what I mean? Do so that's there. Just grab that. Big chunk. Chuck that in. And chuck that right down to the bottom. So I kind of like that now. So I'm going to stick with that, uh, apart from that one. Just going to make that slightly bigger. And then move that one. So I kind of like that now. So that's Robert De Niro using three images of Robert De Niro. Okay. So let's take this up to the next level. What we're now going to do is on. Let's have a look. Let's start with this one. I'm going to do double click that. And we've done this before in lesson. We're going to click this outer glow. And an outer glow is kind of like a shadow. Oh, what am I doing? It's not like a shadow. We're going to drop shadow, that's right. And then using this, so if we click on all the extras, see that opacity. In fact, to do what we're going to do, we're going to zoom right in. Cancel that, zoom into the work. And then because I've zoomed in, you can see it a lot better now, okay? So, drop the shadow. You can see opacity, just makes it dark, but it's gonna make it look like it's sat on top of all of the other boxes. So obviously you start with the top box and work your way down. So with that opacity, somewhere around there, get the angle right, probably about there, maybe, and then the spread. I bump that up as here, right up actually. So I'm going to change the grey into black. You see now what I'm going to do, drag it over here, click OK. So can you see now it's got like a little bit of a shadow around that box. So if I just bring your attention to Bruno Del Zoo's style, 
and you can see that he's got little bits of shadow around his box all right and then just sticking with this same shape what I just want to show you you can do as well we have done this in a previous lesson but I'll just show you again what we're going to do we're going to do inner glow and you can just see that white just appear around Robert De Niro's eye so you just click it one more time where is it there it is so I'm just going to change that opacity a little bit you can see and what's happening there is it's making the edge of it a little bit more white and in doing that, it intensifies the shadow a little bit and makes each shape stand out by itself. So, that was layer 11. So, as you can see, I've done that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to work my way across. All right, so double click it, click drop shadow, inner glow, OK. And then, just patiently, you are going to do that for every single one. I don't think it'll take me that long. Let's see if I'm right. Just clicking OK as you go. Double click on it. Inner glow. Drop shadow. Drop shadow. Glow. I think just like the uh, Bobby Neil Adams work, it's really nice how quickly you can kind of get this done. So if you do two or three examples of this, learn the style, go out, take a photo shoot with your friend, get some really goofy photos, get some real straight on photos, think of all different angles of the face, have a nice contact sheet in your work, and then when you start putting it all together it should look a little bit like this. background. So now I'm just going to go like this, go solid colour, and just change the solid colour, maybe a little, the lightest pink possible. Uh, you can change whatever colour you want, and when we come out of there, you see, created an image in the style of Bruno Del Zoo. All right. Grab that, throw it into our portfolio, throw it into our portfolio, and then laughing. Try and do two or three of those, 